Hello and welcome, in this video I'll show you how you can use GitHub Actions to deploy your code to Firebase hosting completely automatically just by pushing to your main branch in your GitHub repository. Okay, to start off I have this uh, Vue.js project, it is already on my GitHub, you can go ahead and check it out in the link in the description. I'm just gonna run npm run serve to start my own local development server. In case you don't have npm installed, I'm also going to leave you a link in the description. As you can see, it's a really simple web application that lets me uh, change colors on this planet you see here. Now I need to compile this and then once compiled, I'm going to upload it to the Firebase hosting. And for that, I'm going to run on my project terminal npm run build and um, once it finishes it's going to create this folder called dist with all the different assets already compressed and ready for production now we're going to go to the firebase console and create a new project i'm going to call it um, my new space app Click continue, I'm going to disable analytics for right now. Okay, then we go to develop and hosting and we just click on the get started button. I'm going to skip this, just click next, next and continue because I'm going to show you how to use these commands uh, in a second. Now as you can see it gives us this URL to use later on in the video. Now we're going to run npm install g firebase tools and this is going to install the firebase cli that is going to help us deploy our website. Now once it's done we check our version by running firebase version and if everything went right you can just go ahead and, and type in firebase login. like yes and this is gonna take us to a login page in which we're gonna allow the Firebase CLI to login come back to our terminal and type in Firebase in it in the project folder and select yes and then here we select hosting and we click enter then we select the existing project we just created called my new space app and it's gonna um, ask for a directory, I'm going to set dist as the main compiled directory. Um, I'm going to hit yes, no on the github and yes, um, I'm sorry, no for the uh, overwriting of the index.html. Now that is it for the Firebase hosting configuration, now we're going to go ahead and deploy it with this command Firebase deploy only hosting. This is basically gonna upload our files from the dist folder to the Firebase Cloud hosting. Now, as you can see in the domain we got earlier, we can see our new web app functioning. I'm gonna go ahead and open git ignore and just ignore the cache files that were created. That push the two Firebase configuration files to my repository on GitHub. And just to make sure, I'm gonna reload the GitHub page. And as you can see, there they are Firebase RC and Firebase JSON. Then we're gonna go to the Actions tab and to set up a workflow yourself. And this is gonna create a file for the workflow instru instructions. We're first going to give it a name, then a trigger, it's going to trigger whenever we push on the main branch. Then we're going to create the jobs and in each job we're going to create different steps. So the first step is going to be to check out the repository, then to install the dependencies using npm ci, which is basically npm install. Then we're going to build the dependencies and we're going to create an artifact so that we can um, get 
these compiled files to the next step, which is going to be deploy. This deploy um, job is going to have different steps. First, we check out the repository again. We download the artifact we created from the last um, job. And then we deploy to Firebase using these two lines here. We also need to pass in the Firebase token, but I'm going to show you how to get this one in a second. First, I'm going to commit this um, file we just created. And as you can see, there it is. Now, it also creates um, a workflow that starts running. I'm going to stop it for right now because it's probably going to fail because it doesn't have a Firebase token set up. Now to get this token, we go to our terminal and we type in Firebase login CI. This is going to take us back to the Google login page. We select our account and once we click on allow, it's going to give us a token that we can use um, for GitHub action. Now we go into settings, then secrets. And here we create a new repository secret with the name um, Firebase token. We paste in the token we got and we select add secret. As you can see, there it is, secure Firebase token. Now to test this out, I'm going to go ahead and pull the new changes on my main branch and then switch branches to one that I called feature color changing. This is just another branch I'm going to make some changes on. I'm going to delete the moon. And then I'm going to go ahead and push this onto my repository on my secondary branch just to see what happens. As you can see, no action is triggered, no workflow is triggered because we set it up to work only when we push to the main branch. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to merge my secondary branch I created into my main branch and then I'm going to push my main branch and see what happens. As you can see, immediately a workflow starts. It is running my build job. And if I go into the build job, I can see uh, it is running the different steps one by one. Okay, so once these are done, it is gonna deploy the code to the Firebase hosting. As you can see, everything went right. We can check the workflow succeeded. And if we go to our domain and we hard reload the page, you'll see there's no moon. So the changes went in correctly. Perfect. So hopefully this video was helpful. It's a pretty quick video and this is a pretty basic method of using CI/CD. If you'd like more content, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. Thank you for